In the halls of higher education, one person stands out as a beacon of guidance and inspiration for students. Meet Dr. Christopher Bass, a professor, advisor at Clark Atlanta University. Like, what do your students mean to you? Oh, my students mean everything to me. You know, uh, folks ask me all the time, well, Bass, why are you here at Clark Atlanta University? I'm not here for a paycheck. I'm here for the students. Dr. Bass has been teaching and advising students for over 20 years. He's a beloved figure on campus, known for his education to his students and his ability to help them achieve their goals. You know, and I'm here for the students because as a student myself here many years ago, I today look for myself in my students. Mm. And it doesn't matter what gender they are. I look for myself in my students and I see myself every turn, every semester. I see myself, so I want to pour into my old self, right. my young self, sort of stop my old self from doing some of the things that I did back then. So uh, I've been called, you know, great professor. I've been called dad. I've been called uncle. I've been called, you know, many different things, but more familial. Right. So I really want them to feel like I care about them because I do. He's a mentor and a role model for students helping them to navigate the complexities of college life and prepare for their future careers. I think right. that we need to invest in professors who really care. Mm, I think true. that we need to invest in the students in terms of safety. I think we need to invest in students' mental health. Um, we have a counseling center here that's wonderful, but it's not promoted and it's not supported fiscally as much as I believe that it should. Um, we have people who care but what I'm seeing is, or what I'm hearing is, so many complaints from students saying that certain professors are only here for a paycheck. Mm. Certain um, uh, administrators are only here for a paycheck. So once we get back into student-centeredness, once we get back to culture for service, right. then, we can re then we can really change this place for the better. It makes no sense to me that Clark Atlanta University, as great as it is, in this wonderful community that it sits in, why we don't have more relationships with people beyond on the other side of Lowry. Right. Why don't we have more relationship bringing, you know, students from high schools here weekly, you know, setting up mentorship programs with our students and students. Dr. Bass's commitment to his students has not gone unnoticed. He's been recognized for his excellence in teaching, advising, and mentoring, and has received numerous awards and honors. I've been uh, blessed and honored and humbled to win Professor of the Year for 15 years in a row. So again, I am always humbled when students, number one, learn under my tutelage, but also respect me to the same extent that I respect them. I have a lot of love for my students. I have a lot of admiration for what their goals are going to be. Um, when I think about the honor of being Professor of the Year, I was further humbled just this year when they told me that the award for Professor of the Year would be changed to the Dr. Christopher K. Bass uh, Service Award for professors on the campus. So I can no longer win the award, <laughs> but uh, my name will always be associated with faculty members who actually care and do service for the institution. Dr. Christopher Bass's impact on his students and his community is immeasurable. He's a shining example of what it means to be a dedicated educator and his legacy will continue to inspire students for generations to come. Thank you for watching this documentary on Dr. Christopher Bass, a true hero of higher education and a living Clark Atlanta legend. See Bass, swim upstream. <laughs>